So when modeling, something you want to do is check your model for any faces that are not quads. Quads are usually what you want your models to have, especially if you're deforming or animating in any way. But um, it's good. It's good to stick with quads no matter what. Uh, but sometimes you'll have n-gons or tries, and n-gons are faces with five sides, tries are faces with three sides, and these quads are obviously faces with four sides. So we're looking for anything that doesn't have four sides, essentially. And to do so in Blender, it's not too difficult. You just have to go to edit mode and then go to make sure you have faces selected and then go to select, select by trait, faces by sides. And I have my number of vertices down here equal to four. And then I have my type not equal to. So basically anything that's not four sided is being highlighted here. That is super useful, but if you wanna do it a different way, I can put three in here, looking for tries, and then go to equal to, kind of the reverse where I can just find tries, and there are a couple tries back there. And I can do the same thing with n-gons if I put five and keep equal to. As you can see, there are my n-gons, so there are some n-gons, and, and I can count here one, two, three, four, five. These do have five sides, so that needs to be fixed. Um, or like I had before, it can be four, and then I can go to not equal to and just find everything that's off here. But let's just go back to tries and fix that, for example. So I'm gonna do uh, equal to three. And as you can see, way back here, we have uh, our tries. So I'm going to fix it just to show you how it's done. So now I'm in edit mode like I should be, and I'm gonna select the face here, that's the try, and delete it. I'm going to delete faces. I just push delete on my keyboard and there happens to be two on top of each other. So that was an issue also. Um, and now that that's fixed, I can kind of decide how I want to solve this and patch it up. And I think, let's uh, give it a little, I think I'm going to delete both here and I'm going to fix it by just deleting these next door neighbors here and I'm going to bridge in between. So I'm going to now switch, push two on my keyboard or switch to edges and grab these edges here. Ooh, working in a very little tricky area. I'm going to grab both the edges. I can grab them all actually, and I'm going to bridge them. So once they're selected and I shift selected all of them, I hit control E on my keyboard and then bridge edge loops. And that closed the gap. Um, almost. I, I failed to delete one of these faces. So I'm just going to switch back to face and get rid of that hanging face. Perfect. And now there are no tries. So I'm just going to mirror that on the top because that's a mirror image of the bottom here. There's some tries up there as well. So if I go back into object mode, I can go into my modifier, my mirror modifier, and it's top to bottom. I think that's the Z. Yes. I want to bisect because I only want one half to be created. And this is it. So once that's ready, I can apply if I'm in object mode. And now I can test again for those tries and see if they're deleted. So we've got our whole object selected. Now we go to edit mode. We've got face mode selected and we go to select just like before. Select by trait, faces by sides, three equal to. Okay, I'm looking around and I am not seeing a darn thing, which is exactly what I wanted. The ones back here are not highlighted anymore because they're not tries. And if I hit the um, period sign on my keyboard, nothing is being zoomed to. So nothing is, nothing is, uh, nothing's a try here. So that is all, that's it. I'm gonna also fix up those n-gons a similar way just by patching up the um, the faces until I get what I'm looking for. And that's it. Thank you guys. Please join me for more videos uh, on learning Blender because I've been transitioning from Maya and I've got some tips.